Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. Well, didn't we luck out, huh? We were like an episode behind in the weeks. And now, given that the next episode after this one is a recap episode, basically, we aren't going to miss anything. We aren't going to have to wait a week or anything like that. Yeah. So, I guess the timing was good on our part. Um, and there's no real reason for us to watch the recap episode because, you know, it, it, if you've seen one recap episode, you've seen them all. I mean, it's just like, this is a recap of the last X amount of episodes. Enjoy. It's like, but I, we just got done watching this. But now we're moving on to episode five. Uh, next week we'll be doing episode six. So, it's not we're not losing a beat. Or there episode seven. Huh? Or other episode 7. No, 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 because they're calling the next episode episode 5.5. Oh, okay. Yeah. The kids are in sort of a dire situation right now because their home, the place that they were planning to stay, uh, just got raided. There's pretty much, like, nowhere for them to go. And now we know that Mother is back in play, and she's probably going to try and find the kids and get them to come back. Not only that, but... Uh, I think they made her an offer for like both her and Ray could be could stay alive. Let's give this Which a. Wa- if you think about the math, she's really dumb to trust that because essentially they're getting back one high quality product, like as they would call it. Yeah. In exchange for releasing another high product, a, another high quality, along with a mother that fucked up real bad. Well, it's like her getting them back doesn't really equal out to like them just letting that other high quality product go. I think there's going to be more to it. Yeah, I think they're going to betray her if she actually gets back. You got this up on screen? Let's give this a watch. This is episode 5 of Promise Neverland season 2. Here we go. Excited, he's still alive. Uh, I'm excited too, but god dang it! Why are you in the there? It's two different kinds of people. Oh, you evil bastards! I mean, we get Norman back. Oh, dude, I'm fucking happy. That's oh, I'm amazing. happy too, dude. Fuck yes! Hell yeah! Norman's alive. Oh, oh my head! I think I gave myself a headache there. It's like, I was just expecting them to possibly be people. Me and too! Not Norman. Like, that never crossed my mind. That's fucking mind-blowing. As soon as, like, I saw Emma crying, I'm like, don't tell me. And then, boom, you see Norma, like, fuck yes! Uh, oh. I, thought, I thought at first, like, she was just doing that because, like, she was like, they're people! Like, yeah! Like, uh, we found other thought, people that well, are, Well, the like, thought entered my head, and I was just like, oh, fuck, please. Please, like... Like, only thing that would really make her cry like that is if, you know, maybe the desperation, you know, and the hope of, like, finding other humans, but then all of a sudden here comes Norman. Fuck. It's like, I would say him, or, like, if the dude took the mask off and it was a person and he had, like, an owl tattoo, like, that was clearly visible. Yeah. Like, William like, Minerva, like, you're still alive. Like, holy crap, and you're here. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. That's awesome, though. That is really fucking awesome. It's like they were having trouble figuring out what to do, and that's going to help a shit ton. So Norman's probably already got all kinds of plans. And obviously he's got other people with him, too. Like, yeah. Who does he have with him? Like, that's awesome. I, I don't know. I mean, that's I, that's a whole other... We don't even know who they are, and that's already awesome that he yeah. has people with him. They took yeah. out those two other monsters that yeah. was chasing them. It's like, hey, that's our prey. Yeah, clearly nope. he has some Slice. badasses with him. Yeah. No doubt, dude. So I kind of feel bad for those other monsters, like little brother and sister or whatever, like they were, like niece, nephew, who we don't really know, but they're little family members. But... Yeah, I mean, you so, feel, of course you if, feel bad. Like, so Mujika and Sanju supposedly don't eat human meat. Yeah. And I'm kind of wondering, because they're like, if we don't get them some proper meat sooner, and it was like kind of implied like they could have probably given them the hands that they bought, but they were too greedy and wanted it for themselves. So Maybe. Like, sorry we didn't get anything today, like, even though, like, they're fucking, you know, one's got a fucking hand growing out of the side of her head, and the other one's basically just a fucking, like, 
you know, caterpillar. <laughs> like, yeah, like a tadpole with so like a tadpole. Not flakes. looking too good in terms of. No, it's not how the monsters usually look. So, so I'm wondering if it's a disease. Maybe like the only treatment for it is the human meat, meat and yeah. that maybe Mujica and Sanji were just lucky enough not to have that affliction or something. Maybe I don't yeah. know. And then part of me is also wondering if there's still like you know different types of the demons. Because Mujica had, like, a really human lower face. Yes, she did. And it still makes me kind of wonder if, like, uh, demons and humans can crossbreed. And if she wasn't, like, maybe half human, half demon, maybe Sanju was too. And that's how they got away with it. Like, if they're half human, like, that human DNA in their body removes their need to eat human meat. I don't know. I mean, that's... there's, There's still questions I have about a lot of things. This just surprised the hell out of me. Just multiple facets because you know they'd been on the run for six months mm-hmm. that's what they that you know because it had been six months since they uh the the shelter blew up the shelter got raided yeah what a huge shame on them by the way to release that episode ending and then do a fucking recap episode <laughs> without continuing on that god like, dude, i'm really suck. glad we're one behind right now yeah, now we'll be fully caught up yeah, next so time we we'll watch to wait this. Two weeks to see what happens. Yeah, I'd be pissed. That's not the case this time. We get to see what happens next next week, baby. We should just start every show just in case one week behind. For that. <laughs> you know, we we probably could have done that with Demon Slayer. Yeah, uh, but oh, but Demon Slayer was actually, I believe, out at that. It was yeah, I think it was. I think it was, it was mostly out at that. It was time. mostly ahead, like it was in the last like six episodes by the time we started watching it so. yeah that's true and well like if something new's coming out we should wait like one week like when episode two drops we should watch episode one that way we don't have that shit happen to us yeah <laughs> I think that'd be nice Let's skip ahead if we need to <laughs> oh god so yeah I'm hyped for the next episode now for sure you and me both man hell yeah, yeah and I can't wait to see what's gonna happen next so again this was this was an awesome episode, and I'm 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 wanting to know how the hell Norman is still alive, and not only that, number two, uh, what's like what's the deal with these people that he's traveling with? Are they are they other escapees? Are they humans from the human world? I mean, I don't know. There's so many questions I have. So I guess we're gonna see what happens next. So for right now, everyone, that's gonna do it. This was The Promised Neverland, Season 2, Episode 5. And I guess when we see you in the next one, it'll be Episode 6 and not the recap episode. So again, thank you all so much for tuning in. And I guess until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. We'll see you then, everyone. Peace out.